a bomb, I think. watched A Quiet Place Part 2 and we're not going to review it here because we're, we just came out of the cinema but we're going to come home and review it because we have a lot of good stuff to tell you. We haven't come to the movies in such a long time so this was the first movie we've watched in almost one and a half years, almost two years and uh, it was absolutely just a magical experience and I can't wait to talk more about it um, at home with you. So we are back home from the movie theater and we watched A Quiet Place Part 2 it released today, and we were very lucky to get seats and watch it today. So it's been a very long time since we've been to the actual movies. It's been almost two years, and you know, Noreen and I are so thankful that of all the movies we could have watched after returning for, uh, from the COVID pandemic times, this was the movie that was selected, and just incredible movie. We both loved it so much. And um, yeah, it's directed by John Krasinski who, um, Noreen and I, we love him so much because we love watching The Office and he's a beloved character on that, so we were super excited to see his familiar face and we watched A Quiet Place Part 1 about a few... We watched it, um, maybe like a few months ago, so the story is a little bit more fresh in our mind. But yeah, A Quiet Place Part 2, like, did not disappoint. Um, he still delivered the same incredible experience in the second movie as well. So to talk about the second movie, we need to talk about the first part a little bit. So basically, they're just there's this family, and there are these creatures that are blind, but they have really good hearing. So if you make noise, they will come and find you and kill you. Yeah, so that's what this entire thing is based off of. And basically, in the first movie, the father of the family dies trying to save his children. He's and played by John Krasinski. Yeah, 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 yeah. The director of the movie, same screenplay writer, same guy same actor, all played in the same part in the first movie. And it's like this post-apocalyptic world uh, where they have to be very quiet. And they're good at this because one of their children is actually deaf. So they've had to learn how to do um, sign language and communicate that way to them. So they've been able to survive, but that's the first movie. And in the second movie, they start by showing how everything actually happened, like a meteor or like a unidentified object flying down and like crashing into their hometown and all these alien creatures now completely ruling the earth and it starts like day one and then we have this ginormous like big montage with John Krasinski but actually this is a spoiler at the end of the first movie he actually sacrifices himself to save his children so they show him alive for maybe the first 15 minutes of the movie of part two and then um then it says like day 474 when uh he's gone and everything after killing or after, after sacrificing himself for his children so even though this movie was directed uh, by him, screenplay written and everything, he doesn't act in this one as much and I was actually kind of worried for that but he still, I mean, the movie did not disappoint, so yeah. So the music was really good in the movie mainly because a lot of the movie was really quiet so whenever there was music there was like a lasting effect of the music and every time there was music, since it's a thriller movie, there was a lot of dissonance and chords that didn't sound great but like really added to the thriller aspect of the movie and then like the intense like uh notes becoming higher like like j the jaws movie you know like uh, m music becomes faster um high, high more high pitch so that was incredible and the fact that it was in the theater like the surround sound the big screen it was just like i can't explain it to you you'd need to go and watch it and this movie's great like um again we watched the first one at home in our home theater but um, we like, uh, we watched the second movie and it was just, you know, it was a completely different experience having to be quiet the entire time. And yeah, I mean, it was incredible. And this movie, like uh, the performance, actors, they did so well. Uh, Emily Blunt, who plays the wife in the movie is actually John Krasinski's real wife in real life. So he actually, in the first movie, they have really great chemistry and I can see that in the second movie, since he is actually dead in the movie, we don't see that again, but she's still, 
that incredible classic like heroic mother type and I just I appreciate her acting so much and both um, both of the children in the movie just did so well like the girl who was deaf she did incredible the guy who um, the younger brother he did incredible like um, his pain you could really see it I mean when we finished the movie the entire car ride home my, si my, si my sisters and I we were just talking about the movie the entire time like it was just so engaging and wonderful so yeah I was on the edge of my seat the entire time so one of the most enjoyable parts of this movie was how a lot of the people in the movie, they were split up and doing different things at the same time. So they'd show all these scenes at the same time. And whenever it was at the highest tension point, you literally stand up, no, you don't stand up, but you're sitting up at the edge of your seat and you're mm -hmm. holding it tight because everything is happening. And then all at once it crashes down and the tension just, yeah. And then when, I mean, I don't want to spoil anything, but like the last scene is like one of the best scenes because we have like, similar actions being committed and you know it's just like the same it's like flipping this scene flipping that scene it's yeah just and like they that. work together without and knowing it's it. just it's like it just all like fits together so perfectly and something i want to talk about was the cinematography in this movie like and a lot of people don't have that like they're not appreciative of how like hard cameramen are working for all of these movies and everything but oh my god the first part when um like all this disaster happens and all the families are fleeing trying to find out what are we supposed to do um the cinematography the camera follows john krasinski as if like it was like watching like doing virtual reality like being there in the moment it was following him we could see the shots it was like turning around to show like what's chasing them in the car and then like reversing the car it was crazy it was just so thrilling the entire time and you know i mean cinematographer like you did incredible that that's what really i mean they're the eyes to the movie. I mean, we can't do anything without our cinemat cinematographers and American cinematography is like just amazing. They're, no one can beat them at, at thriller movies. So yeah, I mean, we want to speak about the rating. There's not even a question. This is a 10 out of 10. Like, can we say it's not? Like, it is a 10 out of 10. Just every single aspect. I would rate it an 11 out of 10 if I could. Like, <laughs> every single aspect was just absolutely perfect. Actors, amazing. Um, Music amazing, cinematography amazing, just such a great storyline. And you know, again, we were all so hopeful. I mean, is John Krasinski going to be able to deliver as much? Um, is he going to get as much critical acclaim for the second movie as he did for the first one? Yeah, he is. And I mean, it's not like I'm tired now. I mean, I want to see part three. I mean, if that's ever going to happen, I don't know, but that's what we want to see. I mean, that's what I'm sure a majority of the audience is going to see. So I hope this movie wins some awesome awards because it's it's done really well. But yeah. Um, as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We love this movie, and please go watch it, especially in cinema, if you can. But yeah, um, uh, don't forget to watch the other videos. Thank you for watching.